All right, so in this session, I'm gonna share a simple four-part framework on how do you make more money with dentistry. Now look, if you have your own practice, this is gonna be something that you wanna start instilling in your office right away. If you're an associate, then I want you to start thinking about revenue and generating money using clinical dentistry per hour of chair, chair side time using this framework. So it's a simple framework, I'm gonna share it with you, you're gonna think, oh my God, I need to start doing this because most offices are not doing this. And this is something that when I came across this, I was like, oh my God, this is the right way to go because I started seeing so many practices that are generating seven figures, eight figures, and those that are really having a huge profit margin do it the way I'm gonna show you. And here's the thing, when you start using this tactic, you're gonna see that you're working, if not the same, but you're working less because you're zoning in on what truly ma uh, makes a difference in your practice as far as money and revenue. You know, we all wanna generate more revenue in our office. So use these, use this simple framework and you'll see how powerful it is. So let's just get right into it. When we think about what's happened in the last few years, Gosh, right now, we're at a point right now where inflation is at an all-time high since the last 40 years. Think of that. Your dollar or your value of your money is worth less today than it has been ever. So it's really important that you jump in and really get tactical and strategic on generating more revenue in your practice. So how do you do it? Well, it's simple. I'm going to go over a simple framework. We're going to put it into this quadrant right here, um, it, one, two, three, and four. If you follow this framework, you'll see that you'll be able to utilize this with anything that you wanna do in your office. So what's the first thing? And I'm basing this off of practices that I see doing seven to eight figures. They all do this. Number one, you gotta raise your prices today. You gotta raise your prices. You may be thinking, gosh, Ranesh, you're telling me to raise our prices and my patients can't even afford, you know, what my current prices are. I don't want you to focus on that right now. Focus on your business. That's what this session's for. It's not to kind of think about what your patients can or, can or can or cannot afford. It's about, hey, what do I need to do in my business so that way I can keep growing it and keep um, reinventing our services, our impact, and reach more patients with better quality dentistry. How can we keep doing that? And you can't do that unless you're making a profit. And I can tell you right now, with your money being worth less today than ever, it's harder and harder. Your profit margins are shrinking. So first thing, raise prices. Now you may be thinking, okay, which prices? How much do I raise them? Well, I can tell you this, at bare minimum, at least raise your prices 20%. Okay, 20%. Now, is that an arbitrary number? Well, think about it this way. If you're doing a $1,000 crown, now the crown should be $1,200. Oh my God, Ranesh, my patients are never gonna go for that. Well, it depends how you present it. It depends the options you give them. It depends if you've educated them enough to a point where they see value in the procedure. Now, if you want me to, if you wanna learn more about how do you actually charge more and bake value into your procedures, watch that session here on my YouTube channel where I go over exactly how to have patients see more value in your procedures. So you've got to raise your prices by 20%. And when you do that, you don't have to do every single procedure across the board. Focus on the procedure that you want to do more of in your practice. Now, that doesn't mean you want to do more MOD composites or buckle composites. Focus on higher ticket procedures. High ticket procedures. So what does that mean? Let's just put that down here. High ticket, that's the second part. Focus on high ticket procedures. What does that mean? Higher revenue generating procedures. Invisalign, veneers, full mouth dentistry, full mouth reconstruction, implants, mini implants, overdentures. Focus on procedures that are in the higher ticket range. Now, you may be thinking, gosh, Ranesh, you know, I just figured that I'm, you know, I could do bread and butter dentistry and I raise my prices all the way across the board everywhere, 15 to 20%, and I'll do better. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way because you're forgetting one important thing. When I 
am suggesting raise your prices, you're forgetting one important thing. When you do raise your prices and you focus on high ticket procedures, there's one factor, it's kind of like this power, uh, it's a superpower almost, and what that is, it's the power of marketing. When you raise your prices and you focus on higher ticket procedures, when you market your practice, you are essentially gonna market um, the most valuable procedure that you wanna do more of in your practice. And I want you to pick one procedure. Now you're like, Ranesh, I, I do implants and I do veneers and I, I would love to do all of them. No, market one specific procedure only because it's much more easier to speak the language for one procedure and have the copy and the messaging around one procedure first, make that, make that successful, get patients in for that procedure first, then starting to do like five or 10 different things. So the key here is going to be marketing one procedure. So you're gonna go higher ticket, but you're gonna market one procedure. And let's just take that's implants for you. Maybe you wanna just market for more implants. Well, you know what your cost is for implants. You know what the abutment cost is. You know what your crown cost is. And you know what you're charging for an implant, abutment, and a crown right now. Take that price, raise it at least 20%. And then zone in with your marketing on just for implants. Now you may be thinking, gosh, Ranesh, I wanna do veneers too. But you'll see when you get implant cases in, when you get patients that need implants, you may also get veneers. You may also get new families. You may also get patients that need bread and butter dentistry. But when you start to market bread and butter buckle composites dentistry, you're gonna get the lower ticket procedures. And your marketing efforts should be aimed at higher ticket, treatment specific marketing, right? Higher ticket procedures specific for treatment because all your messaging, all your content uh, on your videos and your educational material should all be based off of that one procedure, which is the higher ticket procedure. Now, here's the thing. As you do that, you're gonna get patients that come into your practice and they don't accept treatment or you've diagnosed them and they go into the, what we call the unscheduled treatment plan report, right? So the next step is this. As you get patients that don't accept treatment, you have to do part three, which is you have to segment your patient database. Now, most clinicians don't do this. They have this patient database, they email them at best, they reach out via phone and nobody answers. Sometimes they text them and twice a year they see them for the recare appointments. But they don't segment the database. And here's what I mean by that. Let's just write that down. So segmentation is a big deal. Segment, segment, patient, records. I'll just say segment patient records. Here's what I mean by that. If you see 20 patients for implants, uh, they came into your office, you diagnose implants on them. And in the last quarter you diagnosed 20 implants and nobody got it done. Or maybe 10 of them got them, got it done. And you have the other 10, they haven't gotten it done. They're waiting on funds or they're just waiting on when the time's right, whatever it is. What are you doing to stay in front of those patients? Most offices, the answer is, Mm, nothing much, Ranesh. What we do is we get them in for their recare and they see the hygienist and when they come in, we remind them about their implant. That's a very basic and minimalistic way of going about it. You know, people buy what's in front of them. So if you don't stay in front of them through content, through value videos and pieces that talk about, hey, you know what? We just finished up an anterior implant similar to what you needed. Here's how it turned out. You send them a video or, Hey, you know what? I, I thought of you because we just finished up this Invisalign case and they had the same type of crowding that you do. Here's how it turned out. You send them some before and afters. You're staying in front of them. You're in the narrative of an outcome with your patients. That's key. So you have to segment these patients saying, so you take the database and you're like these 20 people, they wanted implants. They haven't gotten them done guess what? I'm going to stay in front of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them what? That's, that's a funky looking arrow. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually text them. I'm going to email them, right? So you got texting, you got email. And the other thing you're also going to do is say, Hey, I'm also going to create uh, promotions, promotions for these individuals 
well, where they haven't gotten the implant done, we know they want it, maybe they're waiting for the right time financially, maybe they're just, they're not there yet, but we know they wanna get it done. So my job now is to stay in front of them and send them value. Send them a video off your phone, send them a testimonial or a patient experience from someone that's finished it up. Stay in front of them. You see, as you're staying in front of them about this procedure, that's baking in value in the procedure too, because you're constantly in the conversation. The worst thing you can do is you diagnose it and then it's just an afterthought. You never hit it again, you never think about it, you never bring it back up and it's just like, oh, you diagnosed it and that tells the patient, oh, doc, you diagnosed this, Dr. Ganatra, you diagnosed this and it just must not be that important because you never mention it again. I never hear from you about it, you never text me about it. You see, people will always buy what's in front of them because that's what's top of mind. And the way you, st you stay top of mind with the patient is you don't bug them to come in and you don't keep reminding them that they need the implant. You keep sending them transformation content that shows them exactly how something else turned out, the outcome of how it turned out with someone else getting it done. It also kind of piques their curiosity and it gives them hope that, oh my God, Look at this, I needed this, they did this procedure, it came out great, I really need to get this done. You also send them ways for them to get it done. Hey, we have this new plan in the office, in March, here's what we're doing. Everyone that needs veneers, we're also including whitening, we're also including this, we're doing like a, you know, a 12 month interest free plan. Whatever it is, you're reminding them of the stuff as well, the options and the solutions for them to be able to get it done. That's key, right? Now, you may think, gosh, Ranesh, I don't wanna, overly reach out to them, but it's a noisy world right now. It's busy. People are getting a lot coming at them, even if they want the veneers done, even if they want the implants done or the Invisalign done. If you reach out to them and you let them know, hey, your retainers or your refinements are included and you're constantly in that conversation with them in a subtle yet nice and directed way, you'll see you'll end up starting and circling more patients back into your practice. So the key is you gotta segment them so that way you're speaking their language. Now, when you segment the audience, the, what, what happens is when you, when you segment your audience, what happens is the audience is like, oh, the, patient, uh, the patients are like, oh, wow, okay. He's talking exactly my language because I came in, I needed the implant, I didn't get it done. Okay, I love that he's sending me videos and content about you know, how it helped this individual. Gosh, he's texting me. There's emails going out and maybe there's phone calls, but we, we know people don't answer their phone as much, right? And what you're doing is you're creating a system where you're taking procedures that are higher value procedures and you're creating a marketing machine that kind of circles back to this audience right here that needs it and you're always, you have, there's a campaign or a promotion around it. Maybe there's something that goes on in March, or maybe there's something that goes on for the 4th of July, maybe there's something that goes on for the holidays. You're constantly in front of them because of some sort of landmark in your calendar or some sort of campaign or promotion that's happening. And it, you can only do that if you segment that audience. If you say, hey, these are the 20 people that need this, let's talk to them in the language that they're open to listening to because we mentioned that they need the scaling and root planning. We mentioned that they need the veneers or the full mount dentistry, whatever that is. If you stay in front of them, you'll see, you'll start more cases. Now, here's the thing. We started this quadrant by saying, hey, how do you make money, more money as a dentist? First thing is raising your price 20%. That across the board has to happen. All of your costs and your expensive expenses have gone up in the last few years, right? Assistance. They're starting at, they're at $17, now they want $35. Your front office is at $20, now they want $44, right? It's gotten wild. Unless you too raise your prices and you focus your marketing on procedures that give you the greatest outcome and greatest revenue and patient impact, then it's gonna be really hard to compete. Uh, and then of course you use the tactics of segmenting your database and using specific promotions and campaigns that you can send to them. And when I say promotions, I'm not just saying, hey, you're sending them like, you know, 10% off every day. No, I'm talking about texting them and emailing them with value pieces that shows them an outcome from the same exact procedure
that you've gotten for somebody else. You can send them a video, you can send them a Loom video, you can send them uh, a before and after, you can send them a video of yourself over the screen talking about their treatment plan and talking about how effective it can be for them to get it done. There's so many ways to do this. I have a ton of this content here on my channel, so make sure you check it out. I hope this one helped you. Uh, if you like this, then go ahead and hit the like button. Leave me a comment below the video. Let me know what you thought. And I can't wait to make more of these sessions here for you. As always, have an incredible rest of your day and live inspired.